We're gonna ride something different today. First time po tayo susubok ng hindi dalawang gulong. And it's exciting. Ayun, no? Here we go. Twin Spark, Bajaj, loved in 70 countries. Ready na ba kayo, boys? Ready na. Yeah. Welcome po sa isa na namang makaabuluhang episode ng Makina Moto Features. Special itong episode na ito. Historical, ika nga. Dahil ito ang kauna-unang pagkakataon na mag-feature tayo ng sasakyan na hindi dalawang gulong. Hindi rin apat. Medyo malabo yun. Oto na yun eh. Ito, tatlo ang gulong. Gitna ng motor at oto. Sa kultura ng Pinoy, kilala natin ang tatlong gulong sa pangalan tricycle. Now, klaruhin ko lang. Hindi po tricycle ang i-feature natin. This is in a class on its own. At nakikita na rin natin to sa daan. At dumadami na sila. This is the Bajaj RE. The number one three-wheeler in the country. Now, bibigyan ko lang kayo ng konting kaalaman. Yes, sabi ko nga, hindi ito tricycle. Pero to differentiate, gusto ko ibigay muna ang origins ng pang-araw-araw na trike sa Pinas. Nagsimula ang pagkabit ng sidecar sa motor noong 1903. Invented po ito ng mga Briton. 38 years later ay dinala ng mga Punjabs ang konsepto na ito sa Pinas noong World War II. Dala nila noon yung tinatawag nilang Rico or Type 97 Motorcycle, isang kopya ng Harley Davidson na motor. Sinalpakan nila ito ng sidecar at ginamit sa gera. In fact, ang term na tricycle, yung application niya sa pagkaalam natin ay mali kasi ang tricycle by definition ay isang bisikleta na tatlo ang gulong. Yung tricycle as we know it is unique lang sa Pilipinas. After the war, naging mode of transportation ito. Makulay ang kultura ng trike. Pero sadly, ang titibag sa kultura ay safety. There is zero engineering sa mga trike. Di nila inisip ang safety ng mga tao. Basta puro tanchanchini na lang. At kaya ako ngayon, naging interesado ko sa Bajaj RE. Starting is, uh, si ah, here, because in India, right hand drive sila, di ba? Sa right side of the car, so the dito yung susiyan. So I guess that's what it is. It would be nice if this would be on this side. Okay, let's start this. Oops, dito pala. Starts like a charm. Ganda na tunog ah. So I pull this, that will put it in reverse, and let's go reverse. So, pag hinila ko to, ito yung reverse. Now, if I press this trigger part over here, we're now gonna go forward, okay? Let me just explain to you yung cambio mechanics. If you've had a Vespa PX before, yun na yun. So basically, clutch, cambio, first gear, and then second, third, and fourth. Kung first time mo, it, you're gonna get used to it. Um, di naman siya ganun ka hirap maniobra. It's not that difficult. Tayo ay magkantahan Ang kung tapos na ang Hindi stranger sa akin ang Bajaj. Nagkaroon ako ng Bajaj City 100 noon at Bajaj Boxer 150. Pinang-araw-araw ko yan noon at kinosto. Mga dalawang taon din yan sa akin. Wala akong naging problema sa kanila. Napakatipid nila, matibay. At kaya din na-peak yung interest ko sa three-wheeled vehicle nila. So, apart from yung cambio, no-brainer gamitin. Madali lang siya gamitin. Naninibago lang ako kasi syempre sa motor, may counter steer ka, di ba? Dito wala. You're literally gonna feel some force. You wanna go to the side when you try to turn. Not like yung kotse, steering wheel, diba? You're turning. Ito kasi, you're doing a handlebar type of turn. So when you're turning, feeling mo, may, syempre, may sanay tayo mag counter steer to lean into the turn. So ito, you just gotta get used to it. Kasi meron kong G-force na, G-force na mararamdaman. Kailangan mo siya sabayan ng ganun. Kung yung handlebar, parallel to your chest, ikot ka rin ganun. Hindi ka gaganon or hindi ka gaganon. Kaganon ka. Alright. In terms 
sa Virgo factor, I think inherent ata sa gantong klase mga sasakyan na may konting parang wiggle yung handlebar. Pero hindi ka naman si Semp na kasi tatlo yung gulong eh. Diba? What can happen? So, yung experience, huwag ka lang mataranta pag medyo gumagano yung handlebar. Sarali na hindi ka sanay sumakay ng trike. You have to trust that tatlo talaga gulong mo. Diba? Right now, we're gonna try the U-turn test. U-turn. Kaya nito ng isang ikot on a regular road sa village. Let's try. Kaya ang kaya mag-U-turn. One take. <laughs> so, U-turn ka bago ka umikot, sagad mo na. The Bajaj RE. RE stands for Rear Engine. Four-stroke po siya, fuel injected, 198.88 cc or a round off na po natin sa 200 cc. Spark plug po ay dalawa, so kilala ang Bajaj dyan, twin spark, ika nga. Max power, 7.3 kilowatts at 5,000 RPM. Yung max torque niya is 17.1 Nm at 3,500 RPM. Manual siya, constant mesh. Ang chassis and frame niya ay monocoque or isang penis. May kasama siyang central beam and welded cross member. Suspension sa harap, offset column with hydraulic shock absorbers and helical springs. Sa likod naman, independently sprung rear wheels by trailing arms with helical springs and hydraulic shock absorber. Brake type niya, front and rear hydraulic expanding shoe. At kaya niya kumarga ng 8 liters of gasoline. Itsura sa loob, as you can see, Vespa Origins naman ito. Ngayon, ibang kwento naman yan. Yung tie-up ng Vespa sa India, that's a whole new episode right there. So, I'll do that next time. But for now, Tada, here we go. The Bajaj RE. Look at that. <laughs> That's what the front looks like. As you can see, so parang alala niyo yung kombi ng araw. Ganun yung parang dating niya. So for the wheels, sa harap, meron tayong 4x10. That's the size of that. Very small wheels. Pero tatlo naman yung gulong niya. And this is 4.5x10. Taking a look at the rear, as you can see, that's what the rear looks like. And if you can even see from here, because I can't open the engine bay, I don't know if you can see that, that's what the engine looks like. I'm stretching here. <laughs> See, there's a will, there's a way. That's the oil filter right there. So this is what the whole under part looks. Take a look at that. Just so you know what's going on under here. So your mechanism for para mag reverse union. Now, pretty much it's got the features of most vehicles. You got your brake light, signal light. So meron din siyang Bumper! Twin Spark din yung atin Bajaj RE and of course Twin Spark sila yung nag-coy ng term na yan. That's trademark ng Bajaj kaya tipid sila sa konsumo. Got your foot brake over here. So wala kang brakes dyan. Dyan ako medyo na ilang nung simula but uh, nasa pa siya. Mayroon tayong handbrake right there. And this little thing over here, this is their, kumbaga, imbes na magpapadya ka, hihila ka. You can pull that. I haven't tried it though. Seat naman, okay din siya. They're using your regular synthetic leather, but it's decent. It serves its purpose. Kung gusto nyo style tricycle, lalagyan nyo rin ng plastic. Well, bahala kayo. Meron tayong seatbelt sa likod. See? Para safety, di ba? Meron tayong seatbelts. Sa harap naman, meron din seatbelt yung ating driver. So, ayos. So, seating-wise, basically one, two, three, four. Kung pipilitin nyo talaga, one, two, three, four, five. Or pwede rin, apat medyo mahirap na. You're gonna have to be really small folks to be able to do that. And over at the rear, he got some luggage space here. Just look at what's under there. Solid metal. So you can put like your bag, patong dyan. Sitting naman sa likod. Again, sa haba ko nito, marami akong leg room. I don't feel squished at all like parang sa tricycle. Meron din akong grab bar. Pwede ako mawak dito. Pwede ko rin imasahe si Manong driver. Meron tayong hawakan dito sa gilid in case manong driver gets really exciting with his riding. So it's very spacious. Ganda naman legroom ko. Hindi ako tumatama sa dashboard. And another thing that I noticed up here, if you look, meron din tayong taguan ng mga secret stash. So in this case, dito nila nilagay yung kanilang papel. No use equenas, camas, carriolas o carriolotas. Esta bolsa en huente. 
Hala, 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 hala. Marimar, how? Pwede ka rin mag-charge ng iyong mga gamit with your little 12-volt DC lighter socket. So, kulang na lang dito, aircon eh. <laughs> Naglagay din sila ng lagyanan ng thermos para sa nauhaw naman ng driver. So, pag tinignan naman natin yung dashboard, this would be the windshield wiper. Signal light, signal light. You got a compartment here for your papers. Gusto mo lagyan ng mga barya, dito din po siya. Interestingly enough, yung susiyad nila nandito since India is on the right side of the road. So yung manobela nila nasa kanan, so yung susiyad nila nasa kaliwa. Which is why that is right there as opposed to right here. So that just gets a bit of getting used to since you're using your left hand para clutch to pag nag-start or just make sure you're neutral, use your left hand. So ang ginagawa ko, hawak ko to dito sa kaliwa tapos kanan ko nagbubukas. So ito yung switches natin. The whole layout is Vespa. Diba? Yan yung pinanggalingan nito. This will cambio yung Vespa from uh, their PX series. So first gear, pack. Second, pack, pack, pack. As you can see the markings over there. First, Second, third, fourth. Tatapat nyo lang dito dyan sa dot na yan. So, pag nandiyan ka na sa first, clutch, second, and so on and so forth. So, basically, that's it. Suspension sa harap also. But that would look familiar na nasa isang side lang. Butatoy riders. In terms of the trapal, hindi naman tayo dito papasukan ng tubig. The sole thing here, if you look under, meron pa siyang parang rubber na harang dyan. I mean, impossible kang mapasukan ng tubig. All the water is gonna spill over. Nakaset within the bumper is the headlight. So, this is all the bumper part here. Which is a great design. Design, I think. Now let's listen to what it sounds like. Fuel injected. It actually sounds very menacing. Ito yung mga poste natin in the rear posts that's supporting the roof. And uh, sa nakikita ako dito, this is obviously, pwede siyang tanggalin, right? Bolt, 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 bolt. So, tanggalable siya. So, convertible, bolt on. Pero huwag mo nang gagawin yan. Init-init kaya. And then you just pull that out. Pag natanggal mo na yung bolts, may hila na ito. Yung side view mirror sa akin, baka mas pwede sanang mas kung kaya lang, mas nabababa natin. Kasi right now, when I'm looking here to look at the side view, I gotta go like really there and really turn for me to see. As opposed to sana siguro mas offset siya dito. So parang baka pwedeng eyeballs na lang yung titingin. Hindi siya talagang slight tingin na gaganon. Kung ma-adjust lang natin, medyo pababa dito. Kasing height ng aking... Ilong. I haven't seen a new unit. Again, kaya na sinabi ko, na-appreciate ko yung mga gamit na talaga na units na pinapahiram sa akin kasi doon mo makikita yung long-term run niya, di ba? Since they use this, ang ating palo sa odometer, 11,249 kilometers na. And after all those kilometers, I mean, engine-wise, in my experience, maayos siya. Structurally, hindi naman siya parang yung Delix na nagtitwisting chassis. It still feels solid. So, I'm also assuming na babad to sa araw. That's why if you see some surface rusts here and there, that's easily fixed. Kung babaran to sa araw, not bad na rin. Ano pa kaya kung inalagaan nyo to sa hugas, di ba? What I appreciate about the whole thing with the Bajaj RE, ang nakakatuwa dito, hindi siya gawa-gawa in the sense na tantan chaining unlike yung mga tricycles. Hindi sa tinitira ko yung mga tricycles at di nga dapat ikumpera to sa tricycle dahil it's just in a different level. Yung tricycles kasi, ang problema, di ba? Kanya-kanyang diskarte, bawat region, kanya-kanyang welding, kanya-kanyang style, kanya-kanyang gimmick. Sino nagsa-standardize nun? Sino nagbabantay kung safe yun o hindi, di ba? Unlike ito, may molde ka na kagad. It's pressed sheet metal. Goes to say, pinag-isipan din siya. Iba rin yung tibay niya structurally. I've seen other versions na may fender light. Super okay na yan. Galing. Tada! Kay Rami ng iba Umibig Nasaktan din At nagdamdam Ngunit lumimot rin Manap ng iba sa brakes, dahil sa speed niya at sa purpose niya, hindi integral ang ABS. Kasi three-wheel siya eh. Hindi naman basta-basta matutumba din. Quite ample din yung brakes. Medyo maaga ka lang dapat tumira. Okay, so, not a bad ride across the village. Tumabas din tayo ng subdivision, ikot-ikot, just to get more of a feel to it. Right now, what I wanna do is let's try out the brakes. Try the brakes! Stopping power without a lot of skin. So, in tandem niya with 
the tires and yung brakes nya makapit ng tires at hindi naglalak masyado yung brakes now we're gonna press the brakes even harder we wanna see how much it's gonna skid Naturally, the faster you go and the more you slam on the brakes, mas prone na siya to skidding. But you have to remember, this is not as light as a motorcycle. So stopping power niya, solid na rin. And considering, I'm using this for brakes. I mean, there's nothing here, right? All that. Ay, kailangan niya sakay. Sakay po. Come on in! Woo! Oh, wala kayong COVID ah. Uh, social distancing okay pakihawa so pakiramdam we've got two guys over here I'm on 170 pounds so total natin 160 pounds 170 155 so 195 pounds for 495 pounds here. Meron tayo po pata na medyo pataas. Ako sakay natin or total 495 pounds. Basically parang pata. Kaya ako ang kasta big bike. Medyo pataas na to. Kaya nakil na narinig nila kakalimiter. So may limiter din siya. Alright so I'm gonna go for a turn. Kapit na kapatid! <laughs> so syempre, mas safe siya na dito milapot pag meron ng weight sa dito Kaya mas palakas ng loob kung gumanto Takot kayo? Hindi <laughs> Okay, U-turn One touch U-turn to ka Oh, yun siya Kaya matatakot Pero grabe yung force, diba? So the handling again, actually, napansin ko na mas stable ngayon siya dahil mas maraming tao nakasakay. It's not as uh, wiggling as much. You know what? Parang gusto ko sumakay sa likod ah. Try nga natin. Do the handbrake. Okay, okay so meron tayong social distancing. Meron tayong barrier po dito. Ayan, go! Kamakabangga. This is the back right now. So here, at the back, we got some space room for one more kung talagang kasya pa isa pang puwet. Kung pipilitin natin ito, actually pwedeng anim eh. Even more, kung talagang style para mga garapata na sa aso yung dating ng mga pasahero. Kasyang kasya rin more than six. But right now, if you can put three here, and then dito, one on each side, medyo half wet na yung nakaupo. Pero hindi na siya safe, di ba? I mean, it's not built for that. So more or less apat. So parang kotse, dek si kotse, limay, di ba? So four out of five is not bad in such a compact space experience that we just had over here with the Bajaj RE pwede ah, pwede, pwede Overall, ang Bajaj RE ay set na ngayon para palitan ang three-wheeled landscape sa Pilipinas. Di na po natin kailangan mag-settle sa safety natin. In fact, note lang po to ha, at ibabalikan ko ulit. Ang LTO, ang daming pinupuna sa mga custom ng motor, tambucho, open pipe, at kung ano-ano pa. I think, honestly, ang una nilang dapat punahin ay ang mga trike. Dahil yan ay isang pampublikong sasakyan. Walang standard. Basta na i-welding at tumakbo, game na. di ba? Parang, ha? Huh? Walang nagsasabi na ah, safe na yan. Walang accountability. ba? May pagka Pinoy MacGyver nangyari, especially the modern bikes. Yung mga bikes noon, that was a thought and kakayanin, bigger displacement. Pero nung ginawa ng mga manufacturers yung motor, hindi pang sidecar yung pag-design nila initially. Yung mga brackets na naidagdag, later na yung nailagay. Honestly, yes, importante at mahalaga sa akin ang kultura. Ilang dekada ng trike sa atin. In fact, yung unang experience ko sa motor ay nung pinag-drive ako ng trike sa Jones, Isabela, nung bata pa ako. Okay na na. Pero wala eh. At the end of the day, buhay muna over culture. Kasi kung walang tao, walang kultura. So now, may matinong option tayo. Isang sasakyan na talagang ginawa para dyan. Isang sasakyan na pwedeng-pwedeng pampubliko. The Bajaj RE. Welcome to the Philippines. Welcome to the new normal. Ito po si Sir Shaq. Ciao! Parang kailan lang Ang mga pangarap ko'y kahirap abutin Dahil sa inyo, napunta
Nagpunta ako sa aking nais marating Nais ko kayo pasalamatan kahit man lang ang isang awitin Parang kailan lang halos ako ay magpalimos sa lansangan Dahil sa inyo ang aking tiyan na tanggol sa'y nagkalaman Kaya't itong awit Aking inaawit na isko 